This video is to help you with converting degrees to radians and radians to degrees. And just to start out to remind you, we know that the circumference of a circle is 2 pi r. So if we're thinking about having a um, unit circle, then our radius is 1. So we know that the circumference is 2 pi. So if I go around an entire circle, my circumference is 2 pi. Well, that's also 360 degrees. So 360 degrees equals 2 pi. So I know that pi is 180. So this is where our whole unit circle comes from. So I'm, when I'm thinking about degrees, if I want to just have one degree, then I know one degree equals pi over 180. And that's how I'm able to make this um, conversion here. So I'm going to have my setup as 70 degrees, and I'm going to use the little fence method that you um, use usually in science. So we have this. Now notice that our um, degrees cancel. And we can also divide by 10 here, so we're left with 7 pi over 18. Now, I just want to make a little bit of number sense with this. We were looking at 70 degrees. Well, 45 degrees is like somewhere around there. So my 70 degrees is going to be something like this. Okay, so that's about 70 degrees. Well, remember that this is 0. And this is pi over 2. So if I think about that in terms of having 18 as my denominator, it would be like 9 pi over 18. So it makes sense. My answer makes sense. So you can think about it in those terms as well. So let's do a negative one. So I'm going to move down here. So 180 degrees is all the way across. Now I'm going negative, so I'm going to go in a clockwise direction. So my angle is going to be about here. So this is 180 and then 190. Let me draw the other side of my angle. Okay, so I have this is about um, negative 190 degrees. I'm setting up the same format. and then just doing the math. Okay, so 18, if I had over here, would be 18 pi over 18 because this is negative pi. So then a little bit more, the negative 19 pi. Okay, um, I urge you to pause the video and then come back and I'll have these two worked. I'll have the answers for you. So if you struggled with D a bit, remember that it's negative, so we're going in the counter or we're going in the clockwise direction. And so if I go all the way around once, that's 360. And then I still need to go a little bit more. So I need to go 360, and then I can think about it as 566, 360. So I need to go 206 more. So this is 180 more, so then I need to go a little bit more than that. So that would be my negative 566 degree angle. And then you're just setting up the math the same way. Okay, now when we're going radians to degrees, this fraction flips. 
So here I have um, pi over 6, and I can do the math on that. I'm just going to be multiplying by 180 degrees over pi. So my pi cancels out, and I'm left with 180 degrees over 6. So notice that this time I am left with my units, my degrees. So I have 30 degrees. And 30 degrees is going to look, again, my 45 is here, so it's going to be somewhere about there. Okay, now this one is negative, but still the math is the same. And I keep my degree symbol. Notice up here all of these were unitless. Three hundred degrees and negative, I'm going in a clockwise direction. This brings me to two seventy, negative two seventy, and then thirty degrees more. So zero, negative ninety degrees negative 180, negative 270. Now this one, because there's no degree mark, I know it is a radian, so I have to think about how am I going to convert this one. And I can still do the same math. I'm going to substitute 3.14 here, and when you do the math on that, you should get... And in this course, we'll usually be taking um, decimals out to the third decimal place instead, unless you're um, told otherwise. Now, I can see in this one that it's 222 degrees, so I know that's going to be in quadrant 3, so it's going to be down here someplace. But I can also just look, I just want to look back at this value. So I know that 0 is here, and I know that 3.14 is over here. So I can already see that that's going to be over here in that third quadrant. Now, negative 13 pi over 6. When I look at this, I immediately know that if I had 12 pi over 6, I'll make it negative, I would have a negative 2 pi. And this is more, so this is more than a full rotation. Just doing the math on it, and I get negative 390 degrees. Well, 360 is a full rotation, so this is going to be, here's my negative 90, negative 180, negative 270, negative 360 when I go all the way around. So here, and then I need 30 more degrees to make that um, negative 390.